Hi guys, I was wondering if there were any Stalker Clear Skies experts out there who knew how to help me with a small problem. Or, you know, if, if any of you have had this problem and you found the definitive way to fix it. I've Googled it and I've had several answers and I don't know which is which. And I actually figured you guys probably know a lot more about this than I do. And the problem is I keep crashing. Now, I've rebuilt my entire system and I've tried the game out. I'm getting 60 frames a second, even here in this camp, which is supposed to be a fairly intense part. I'm running it on pretty much the max settings. You can tweak it a little higher, but I'm using DX10 um, and it looks gorgeous. I mean, it really does look nice. The lighting is good. The shading is good. The shadows look really interesting. The whole thing is just... I'm very impressed. It doesn't look like it needs any visual mods the way the first game did. So I'm really impressed with it. But it keeps crashing. Not keeps. It, it crashes every five or ten minutes as I'm testing something out in this area. Now, it's not crashed for a while. Um, the first thing that... Uh, was mentioned was it might be something like fraps because of course I was running fraps to look at frame rate and so I've uninstalled that but it has well not uninstalled it I'm not running it but it has crashed once since I've done that so I'm not sure it's that I've had a few other suggestions one is it's some Windows update which came out a long time ago and you should uninstall and I don't actually know how the hell to do that and the other one was it's actually DX10 Somebody suggested, well, no, multiple people suggested it was DX10, and if you drop it to DX9, it will work without crashing. The thing is, it doesn't look even remotely as nice. I mean, the DX10 version of this game looks nice. I really don't want to have to run this on a low one just to stop it from crashing. And I've been told, if you have this problem on clear skies, you'll probably have it on Call of Pripyat. Before the people all scream, don't forget this game, do, do Call of Pripyat. Apparently it has the same issue. So if I'm crashing here, I'm going to crash there. So, if there's anyone who's had a similar problem and definitely fixed it, figured a way to fix it, and you can leave a comment down below, I would appreciate it. Because at the moment, it's kind of getting in the way of me starting the Let's Play a little. Because obviously I want my system to be stable. I've been tweaking, trying different settings, and now I've rebuilt my system, as I said. 60 frames a second, even in this area. And I've been told this area is quite demanding. So, you know. I got a few other tweaks to make, like mouse. I'm not totally sure I like the head bobbing. But on the whole, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. I am using, I've decided to use one mod, SRP, um, which is the Reclamation Project. It's a community-driven bug fix thing, I think. I'm using 1.04. Before you all suggest, ah, oh, maybe that's the thing causing the crash. No, all of these crashes occurred on vanilla. I've only just installed SRP 1.04. I've changed the INI to have true, where it's supposed to have true, the usual things. I've not added any of the optional things and that's another thing what optional features for srp do you think i should install there are quite a few for example there's, there seems to be a pistol iron sights one there is something about stealth but i think that's going to make stealth easier which i don't want and oh there was one added a sleeping bag i think i think that one's going to be essential the sleeping bag one so if you've got any input on which of those optionals to add. I would probably appreciate that as well. What else was there? Um... Oh, I'm also going to be using a HUD mod. I've seen a few heads-up display mod that reduce the heads-up display. So, for example, the... Is it the blue meter? I think the blue meter is something to do with stealth, isn't it? I, I don't quite know. Um, but I've seen a heads-up display that removes the blue, removes the fancy radiation meter, I think. And just makes everything look smaller and removes the minimap. I think I want the minimap removed. I definitely want the enemies removed from the minimap. I just, I do not want that. Um, so, but I think I'll have the minimap removed 
I like to be fairly uncluttered in the heads-up display, as you know. <laughs> Plus, I don't know, I always feel like it's more real when I have to, you know, check my PDA to get the map rather than the mini-map. But there you go. So, thank you for listening, and if you have any advice, I would appreciate it. And of course, if I can get this stable, it's been stable for a while now. Maybe it was Fraps. Maybe it was Fraps. Who knows? But um, yeah, once I can get this stable and I get those last few mods installed, I am going to start this Let's Play. So, yeah. Thank you for listening, and I will see you guys soon.